ladies and start some pressure. Time we're going to be Room 1222. She's still Call leading room, quite a bit. I'm just going to put some basal prostol in. I am Sandra from ICU. Can you tell me what's happening here? This is Mrs. Smith. She is a 20 year old uh, multip. Uh, she works with this delivery while the uterus and she's been bleeding quite a bit. I'm going to get ready to defibrillate her uterus. Hey, Shelly, let me know when the pads are on. All clear. Everyone clear. off. Yep. Charging. Shock. Could you resume CPR? All right. All right. Let's and check the blood pressure. Good. How's the patient doing? And the, has the bleeding improved, Heather? Yeah, bleeding is improved. All right, we'll stop the simulation here. Thanks, everyone. Well, how, did, how did that feel? It was a great opportunity to learn everything in a safe environment. I think it will really help me in the clinic. Great. At the University of Calgary Faculty of Nursing, in our simulation lab, we create readiness for learning and transition into practice through simulation. And by using simulated real patient case scenarios, what happens is we're able to build confidence and competence amongst our students. And so the goal is really to help them to provide safer patient care when they're out in practice. Having a proper research-oriented facility at the University of Calgary, at a really helps me to what to expect uh, out in the real world. Also having a research oriented team, it helped me to focus on the critical things I need to do first in the different situations and the things which can be done later. The research component is essential to our simulation program and I think that it really sets us apart. We were the first university in Canada to have a professorship in, in simulation research and this enables us to create new knowledge in the field of simulation and to really advance the science in simulation. Industry partner and community investment in our simulation lab will be critical to the next phase of advancing technology and helping prepare our students for safe patient care in the practice area. In, in order to stay on the forefront of technology and be able to accelerate learning amongst our nursing students that are graduating and going right into practice in areas like intensive care, emergency and acute care areas, simulation investment and it will enable us to sustain this area of simulation. In the immediate future, in, in addition to providing our students with the highest technology in learning strategies through simulation and transition to practice, we're also planning to build a national center for excellence in education and research in simulation. This will be a center where simulation experts can come to from across Canada and internationally to learn and be mentored in simulation. We'll provide the latest programming and the latest um, concepts and mentorship.